The Real Time Real Estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomedigest.com, rsrhomedigest.com. Find out exactly what the county recorder knows about your property, what the market believes about your property. It is an email we send you complimentary once per month. You got to watch for the email, though, because it's coming out to you. And it's only about your house. It's not the neighborhood. It's your specific property. The path to home ownership can be steeper for some Americans. As we celebrate Black History Month, we honor and recognize the past, present experience of Black Americans. A significant part of this experience is investing in a home of their own. While equitable access to housing has come a long way, the path to home ownership is still steeper for households of color. It's an important experience to talk about, along with how working with the right real estate experts can make all the difference for diverse home buyers. We know it's a more challenging journey to achieve home ownership for some because there's still a measurable gap between the overall coverage U.S. home ownership rate and that of non-white groups. The, today, the lowest home ownership rate persi- persists. In, easy for me to say. In the black community, home ownership rate on average 65 and a half percent. Home ownership is an essential piece for building household wealth that can be passed down to future generations. However, there are obstacles in the home buying process that can negatively impact certain racial and ethnic groups, including the black community. This can delay or prevent many from achieving home ownership, challenging their ability to grow their net worth. The report by Vanessa G. Perry of the George Washington University School of Business and Janet Radcliffe of the Urban Institute explains, quote, Households of color have much lower home ownership rates than white households and consequently hold at the median just one eighth the wealth of white households, unquote. On top of that, when black households do become homeowners, research shows they pay more for those homes overall than the average household. Rahim Hanifa, a research analyst for the Joint Center for Housing Studies at Harvard University, tells us, quote, black homeowners not only have primary mortgages with higher interest rates than white homeowners with similar incomes, they also have higher interest rates than white homeowners with substantially lower incomes. Black homeowners have experienced systematic, systemic barriers to home ownership and wealth building opportunities that have limited their ability to accept, to access credit, which is a key component in receiving low mortgage interest rates, unquote. For black homeowners, the inequity that remains in housing can be a point of pain and frustration. That's why it's so important for members of diverse groups to have their right team of experts on their side throughout the home buying process. These professionals are not only experienced advisors who understand the market and give the best advice, they're also compassionate allies who will advocate for your best interest every step of the way. Bottom line, opportunities in real estate improve every day, but there are still equity challenges that many face. Let me call it 800. I don't believe in any of the challenges. They, they should not be a part of our dis, uh, the discussion. If you can afford it, you should have the exact opportunity as anybody else who can afford the same property. Unless you're a veteran, then I think you should have a, an advantage. Just my opinion. I'm always looking out for the veterans out there. That is the real-time real estate segment being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomedigest.com, rsrhomedigest.com.